Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to the episode of Let's Play Super Mario 64. In the previous video, we began shifting Sandlands, we completed three missions within its walls, so to speak, and in today's video we will be continuing shifting Sandlands, doing some more missions in the area. We just have to get back to the castle basement, and I have chosen to use a rather inconvenient route to get there. This is the route that requires us to go through the outskirts of the castle, and now we can land in the basement and run by the lethal lava land painting, and then we can jump into the wall to get to Shifting Sandland. Alright, this is mission number four. Stand tall on the four pillars. Now this mission is actually a bit of a, uh, oh, please save me. Save me! Save me! Thank you! Thank you again. The, this mission name is a bit of a bad description of the level. We do have to stand on the four pillars, but uh, we do not get a star simply for doing that. We will have more of a task to accomplish. Uh, but of course, we will begin by standing on four pillars. Here is one of the pillars. This is the hardest pillar to reach right here. It is the hardest because it is surrounded by not really good stuff. You could say it's surrounded by uh, essentially lava. It is an instant, uh, instant death pit of very, very uh, deep quicksand, so we have to be careful to avoid it. The other two pillars, however, are not as bad. Actually, there are three pillars, because they are connected straight to sand that we can stand on. Alright, which one did I not get credit for? Which... was it the first one, maybe? Maybe the first one I didn't get credit for? Because I'm standing on all the pillars right now, I'll even ground pound them to just show I am indeed standing on them. Okay, we're gonna lose the wing cap now. That's fine by me. I will simply make my way over to the wing cap here on the main area of the, the pyramid. We won't be going into the pyramid right now. But let's go ahead and potentially redo this one. I would assume if any of them is the issue. It was this one. Hey, you can see that the uh, the top of the pyramid will lift off as if it's being uh, perhaps abducted by aliens. Uh, it's gone now. That's the important thing we have just seen. Is that, yes, it is gone. The top of the pyramid actually hides a rather cool secret, so we need to make our way up there now. I think I will go ahead and use a new wing cap to get up there. When the top of the pyramid is uh, blown off, you will see that there is a secondary entrance to get into the top of the into the into the pyramid. You can enter through the top of the pyramid now, which we will go ahead and do. Assuming I can make my way up there without facing harm in any way. Let's see. Is it possible? It is. Oh wait, nope. I don't want to get the star. Perfect. And we can drop in right here. Now, before I uh, do anything inside here, I want to mention that it is possible to jump out and collect the star right there. That was one of the stars we got in the previous video. I believe it was from mission number three. I explained that there was an alternate way to get uh, all the stars, or the, the star in that mission, and that way you can actually do a little bit of a glitch to get into the top of the pyramid without uh, actually having the top fly away. And if you do that, then you can get the star very quickly. When we drop down, we'll be confronted with a bit of a sarcophagus situation here. And the sarcophagus will turn into... A boss. Who walk here? Who break seal? Wake ancient ones? We know like light. Rumble. We know like intruders. Now battle. Hand. To. Hand. This is a boss by the name of Irock. His name is Irock because he rocks. Anyway, you'll notice he's got, he's got hands, and he has also got eyes on said hands. And what you need to do is take the chance to punch his eye when his eye is open on each hand. He'll do this little uh, massage trick. Maybe your friend has done that to you when they're giving you a massage. Uh, but yeah, I rock is a pretty easy boss. You just have to continuously smack him in his eyes until eventually his hands will go away. And then you just need to continue to wait until you can finish off the other hand, like that. Grumble, 
What happened? We crushed like pebble. You are so strong. You rule the ancient pyramid for today. Now take star power. We sleep darkness. Exciting. Very exciting. So yes, this is Irock, also known as uh, the Hands or the Stone Hands, and he hides a star for us. Good fight, Irock. I hope you enjoyed the experience. There is mission number four, stand tall on the four pillars. Like I said, standing tall on the pillars only grants you access to Irock. It, I think the level should really be called something else, perhaps. Um, here, let's actually take a peek. So we had Inside the Ancient Pyramid, which was mission number three, which sounds a lot more interesting and more related to fighting Irock than Stand Tall in the Four Pillars. Might have considered switching something about these two, maybe the bottom of the Ancient Pyramid has Irock and the top has a different star, something like that, something to make Irock the main focus. But they had to call it Stand Tall in the Four Pillars so you knew what to do. Anyway, we're going to hop into mission number five now, which is free flying for eight red coins. So in this mission, there are some red coins in the sky and there are some red coins on the ground. Specifically, there are four in the sky and four in the ground. We have to be very careful when we approach this one because it is right on the edge of infinitely falling sand. But no biggie. I think what we can do, let's go ahead and get the coins in the sky first. We kind of have a better angle to approach... Uh, we'll, we'll get this coin right here, because there's a, there's a red coin in a box dead ahead. So we're going to get this red coin, and then we'll get the ones in the sky. And then we can deal with the, the ones out on the on the ground. You might have actually seen one of the coins on the ground already. It is uh, it is not too far away. Not too far away. One singular bit. Alright, so let's go ahead and take to the skies so we can get these coins. There's one right here which I can reach, perfect, and then I'll probably want to land and take flight again to get to this next one. There we go, so we can have a nice little boost, perfect. Definitely was given a little bit of an assistance for that one. Hey, there's a red coin right here, why don't we go ahead and pick this one up on the way? It's just a convenient coin to get. A convenient coin to get indeed. Hey, it's the bird who's gonna steal my hat if I'm not careful. Too bad I'm careful. Okay, um, we should probably try and get somewhere. This is a perfect spot. Let's go ahead and take flight again for a third time, because we can get this coin. Um, that was probably stupid. Holy buckets, that could have been close. That could have been really bad. All right, let's take a breather and stop doing dumb things, eh? Let's go ahead and get a new, a new <laughs> wing cap. My attempt was to ground pound the coin, but then I realized I could be hovering over quicksand. And if you ground pound quicksand, I mean, you're just asking for it at that point. So lucky us, we were able to get out of that situation scot-free. All right, we're going to use this strip right here as our launch pad, I think. Yeah, we should be good here to take flight to get this red coin. Nice. We could also quickly pit stop to get this red coin right here. And then we can use this right here. Oh, are you kidding me? Did you see how fast I got shot down? I got Mario 64'd. Uh, what happened there was the corner of Mario. I just got clipped. <laughs> and uh, because of the way the game handles momentum and collision, I basically just got completely and utterly halted. And all my... My progress has been uh, officially reset. That's no big deal though, because the red coins, we've seen every single one of them now. You've seen the four in the sky, you've seen the four on the ground. Now it's not a matter of finding, it's a matter of collecting. So we're going to do just that right here. I tried to swing that and it did not work. We're gonna try and take the same route, except maybe not land this time. To get that last one, we will seriously just get that last one last. Because trying to take off from there, if I don't plan well, can be a little bit silly. Okay, let's go ahead and go up now for this coin. Good. I do like landing here for a little a little pit stop. Especially since we can get this one very easily if we do so. And we can just turn right back around to take flight again over here. 
I just have to make sure I get up here without making a fool out of myself. Like I kind of did in the previous attempt. So here we go, we can grab this one. And swing around. And maybe we can come back up. No, we're definitely going to need to land here on this strip. And we can take off in this direction as long as we don't get... There we go, hit by the shy guy. Perfect. We can grab this coin. We can get this one right here as well. And then our wing cap will go away just in time for us to very casually walk. Maybe do one set of jumps. But we can pretty much casually walk over. You shouldn't come this way, right? Yeah, he doesn't. But he does go back the other way. Okay. This should be a safe zone that I can stand and grab this coin. And there we go, we can see that our star is located uh, a little far, but it is not too far. We will be just fine. I think I have to stand right here, because uh, I won't be able to make that. Yeah, so we'll just stand right here, and we'll wait for the coin, to, or the, the box to drop on us. There we go. We are safe from the box. Now we are safe from most obstacles, and we can proceed to collect our star if I can get a good triple jump going. One, two, three, and we are in. There we are. Very perfect, very easy. No big dealio. No big dealio at all. Free flying for the eight red coins has been completed. And ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to end off this video here because next episode we can go ahead and do the 100 coin star as well as the final mission for the Shifting Sandlands area of the game. So that is going to be all for now, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe, and tell your friends on my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys my videos around. And I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.